Internet qualifier Alicia Kunze, who outlasted over 10,000 players to earn the right to play Phil Ivey in the first round. Yeah, how about that for a reward? Young lady from Greensburg, Indiana, her first trip to Las Vegas. Phil has called Ivy with Jack Deuce, and Alicia has ace king. The flop comes king, queen, tray, all spades. Both players have a spade. Kunzi's got the ace, Ivy's got the jack. Kunzi's also got top pair, top kicker, way the best hand here. Kunzi has bet 600. And Ivy raises it up to 1800. Now, Kunzi did raise this pot pre-flop. Ivy's trying to take it away from her right here, but she is not going anywhere with top pair and the nut flush draw. Alicia calls, and the turn's a ten of spades. Ouch. Ivy's got the second nut flush. Kunzi's got the nut flush, and now she's going to lead into him after he raised her on the flop. She's not trying to get creative. Ivy simply calls. And that's a pro move. No reason for him to raise at this point. Rivers a seven of hearts. Only the nine of spades would have saved Ivy on the end. Alicia bets out 2,000. That bet is only a quarter of the pot size. Ivy getting five to one on a call. And trying to read through her sunglasses, Ivy does call. And Alicia takes down the pot. 23-year-old amateur jumps out to an early chip lead. That's a nice little start, Philly. Phil's mom, Pamela, hoping to bring Phil some of the luck that has escaped him in this event. He's already down two to one in chips. Still very early. The blind's just at 150 and 300. Seven five for Alicia. She calls. Eager to see how she's going to respond to having the early chip lead. Okay. It's obviously an advantage, but a responsibility as well. Could feel like a bit of pressure to her. And the flop. Both players flop a pair, but Kunzi has a straight draw. Yeah, top pair for Phil. Middle pair with that straight draw, Matt. She's going to flat call. Turn is a jack of diamonds. Ivy bets 1,200. Alicia will call. And the river. Queen of clubs. Two over cards to the eight now, but unlikely that Alicia hit either of those two. Phil bets 2,000. And here's the difference between a pro and an amateur. Ivy undeterred, fires a third barrel. Good value bet as he picks up an extra 2,000 from Alicia on the end. So Ivy gets some chips back as we head over to two world favorites in every year of this event. However, in a single elimination tourney, anything can happen. And don't be mistaken, Matt, it's difficult for a professional player to go up against an amateur. They're such a wild card, you just don't know how much of the game they understand and how they're interpreting things. Suited jack nine for Phil, suited eight four for Alicia. Flop comes six, jack deuce, a pair of jacks for Phil. And an air ball for Alicia who is reaching for chips. Good flop texture to bet at here and I feel like this is the byproduct of some of Daniel Negreanu's tutelage. He helped her prior to this match. Ivy calls. Six of spades on the turn. Now Alicia's picked up a flush draw. She bets 1,200. No reason to get out of line for Phil. He's going to just call. Alicia pairs her eight on the river, but Phil's Jackson sixes are still the better hand. She's finally got something. Not enough, though. She bets 1,700. I'll take those sunglasses off. Phil trying to get a read on her. Ivy calls and takes down the pot. Alicia's conceding the pot here. Ivy rolls his hand over first out of courtesy, but that courtesy is going to come at the expense of some information. So Phil Ivy, the gentleman that he is, cuts the amateur.
to a 2-1 to chip advantage. Ali, what does Kunzi need to do to come back in this match? Simply maintain her composure. There's a big difference between being out-chipped and short-stacked. She's got 13,000 and change with the blinds at 2 and 400. Plenty of play left. She calls with ace-deuce. Suited tray deuce for Philly checks. And the flop pairs Phil's tray. Bottom pair with no kicker for Phil. He'll lead right out. Alicia's got the ace high and the wheel draw. Alicia calls. She's also got the ace of hearts. Seven of spades on 4th Street. Hearts won't matter anymore, but Phil's picked up a spade flush draw to go with his threes. And he bets 1,200. Alicia calls. She could have released her hand here. Now she needs a non-spade ace or five. Instead of nine of clubs, Check. Ivy checks. Well, he's going to shut it down and give her control of the pot, and she is going to waste no time reaching for chips. Look at this, Matt. Alicia doesn't like to check. She bets 1,700. And much to Phil's chagrin, she's maintaining a pretty good poker face here. He's thinking, you internet kid, you can't be this good. This could be a busted heart draw. And Phil folds his hand. Alicia Kunzi just stole a pot from Phil Ivey. What it's got to be like to beat 10,000 people to get to this event. I'd love to, Matt, but unfortunately, I don't know. I have enough trouble beating a field of 100 players. It is an astronomical feat. That is a bigger field than any World Series main event champ has ever outlasted. She has raised to 1,200 with Jack 8. Phil calls. And the flop. And both players get a piece of this. Jacks for Alicia, but two pair for Phil. Yeah, this is going to be trouble. Phil has checked over to Alicia. Lucky for him, she's flopped a jack. He's in great shape so far. She bets 1,700. Phil quickly calls. Patient call by Phil. Turns a queen of spades. He's going to let her fire another barrel here. Instead, she checks. Lucky for her, too. He probably would have check raised her. And look at the river, Matt. Alicia has caught up. She's got jacks and eights now. Phil bets out 3,500. 3, Pretty sizable bet. What should Alicia do here? Well, the safe thing to do is just call. You don't want to face a re-raise if you put one in. She does call, and by doing so, she takes down the pot. And Ivy's surprised his hand was no good. He had to think threes and fours were a winner when she just called. Elite. Well, Phil's back is definitely up against the wall. He's not going to panic, though. Courtesy of the Vonage pocket cam, Phil with a six. He calls. Alicia suited with jack five. Well, Phil wants to get to the flop without putting a lot of chips in there. He's got to favor himself in decision-making situations. But look at this. Alicia continuing to keep the pressure on. She's raising it. Another 1,300 to fill, and he calls. Flop comes 6-9-5. Both players have got a pair here. Bottom pair for Alicia, middle pair for Phil. Alicia bets 1,300. 1300. Ivy's right around the 10 blind range now at this point. Update on table four. Alicia Those percentages now. do not add up to 100 because this could still end in a chop. And Phil moves all in. Alicia folds her hand. Well, he's going to need a few more pots like that, Matt, to crawl back into contention. But like I say, he doesn't want to get hasty pre-flop. He wants to take flops and get kings for Alicia. That's going to make things difficult for Phil. If she keeps picking up big hands, he is going to be in a world of hurt. Alicia raises to 3,300. Aces oh, hello. for Ivy. That'll work. This is what we like to call a cooler in poker, Matt. So incredibly unlikely that in a heads-up match, two kings will run into two aces. Phil re-raises. Now notice, this is a very small re-raise from Phil. He wants to make sure that Alicia's going to call him here. Little does he know, her two kings are probably going to warrant a re-raise. And Alicia re-raises to put Phil all in, and he quickly calls. We're all in. 
She doesn't realize she's put them all in just yet. She'll get the memo in a second here. Call. Yeah, two aces. Wow. Are you serious? That is sick. It's pretty unlucky for you, but you might win, so not that big a deal. I was pretty lucky all day yesterday, so I'm due. I'm due. To, I'm due to lose a, a, a hand. <laughs> Ivy sympathizing with Alicia's plight here. Aces against Kings Flop is 4 here. 8 Trey. Bill has the aces. They're good on No the help for Three, Alicia. Four, She's going to need running hearts or a king ball. Whoa. Right, here's the turn. Four of diamonds on 4th Street. Fewer out still for Alicia. Phil Ivy's a card away double from a big here's time double right. up here. And Rivers of four of clubs. Four. Phil Ivey takes down the pot and indeed doubles up. Phil has even the stacks here. But it's not like it was at the beginning of this match. The blinds are all the way up to six and twelve hundred in this marathon. Stacks not quite as deep as they once were. Blinds at six and twelve hundred, and who'd have thought, Ali, that these two would be the last standing in the spades bracket? Well, most certainly not me, Matt. You've got the pre-tournament favorite going against an amateur internet qualifier from Greensburg, Indiana. Not exactly the mecca of poker. Suited ten deuce. Phil puts in a raise to thirty-two hundred. Suited jack four for Alicia. Not exactly Group A hands, but you don't want to soften up now. Can't always sit back and wait for aces and kings, and Alicia knows that. She defends. The flop. Deuce, eight, tray. Phil pairs his deuce, but a flush draw for Alicia. She leads right out. She knows a flop like that is unlikely to have hit Phil's hand if he raised pre-flop. Come on, man. Phil moves all in. That is a gutsy all in by Phil Ivey. He's got bottom pair with a 10 kicker, could easily be beat in this spot, and now the decision is on Alicia. This is a classic scenario where sitting at home and knowing what the whole cards are make you think this decision is so easy, but Alicia doesn't know what Phil's holding. And as such, she gets away from her flush draw. Reality was the price was right, and she should have stuck her stack in there. Let's check in with Leanne. Down. Six thousand in chips. Sevens for Alicia here. I'm all in. All in. She moves all in. Now's as good a time as any. I call. Call. Jack nine, good enough for Phil to call the all in. Okay. He's gonna try to felt her here and now. Two over cards against a pocket pair. And Phil pairs his nine on the flop. Ace ten nine. Poor Alicia's been out flopped. One seven. Turns a queen of clubs. One seven. She's down to one of two remaining sevens in the deck to avoid elimination. Can she do it? She cannot. It's a jack of diamonds on the river. And Phil Ivey finally gets the first round monkey off his back.